popular. We the ones setting trends, we keep it so real, and you just pretend. We make it popular. We the ones that will shine, we ten steps ahead, and you just behind. Well, hold up. I think I hear a little hater in the room. Hello everyone, I'm Deja B and thank you for tuning in to my Popular Girls channel. Now on this edition of Popular Girls, I'm going to do a bridal shower basket. Now I know I've been doing baskets for my last two videos, but hey, everybody loves a basket. So, especially when I have a lot of goodies. So I've been to a lot of weddings, I've been in a lot of weddings and let me tell you, Anytime that you're doing an event, it's always going to be something that's going to happen. I always say make sure that you prepare for the worst and hope for the best, right? So with all that said, these are things that the bride could use on the day of the wedding or even her bridesmaid. This, this could be something that could be in the suite. And these are all the little things that she might need in case of emergency or just to prepare for her big day. The thing that you do not want to happen on the day of your wedding, you don't want something to happen and you want somebody running out to the stores to get a sewing kit or um, um, flip flops or whatever, or Tylenol. You don't want people running around. You want to have it so just in case if that emergency come up, your stomach hurting, your head is hurting. This is a perfect gift. So I want you to stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to make it and the products that you could buy to put in a basket, okay? Stay tuned. I'm going to show you the little things that I got to put in the basket and then I'll show you how to put the basket together. So for this, this is a cute little t-shirt. It says, you know, wifey. So we'll add that to it. So I'm going to just put this to the side. Now this, it says bride. I actually got this from Amazon as well. And you know the day of the wedding she could put you know her little makeup or mints or any little thing that she might need throughout the day and she know this is hers because it says bride she put it under the table put it on a seat or whatever you want to do right so i have these these are um panty liners because once again you just never know what might happen even if she use it or might need it or one of the um the bridesmaids might need it right I have Tums, Advil, as you know, people gonna be drinking and all that good stuff, music you might need an Advil. Um, these are cough drops, mint lifesavers. Um, this is wrinkle releaser, so you might need it. Safety pins, Q-tips. I got these from Amazon as well. These are little flip-flops, so while she's getting ready, you know, says bride, or even afterwards if she's ready to take off her heels if she want to put these on. I don't know. Then I have this. This is um, a stain remover, so just in case if something happened, quick stain remover, sewing kit. Now, let me tell you, right? One time I was in a wedding about two years ago, one of my good friends, and 10 minutes before it was time for us to walk out, one of the bridesmaids dress ripped open. The part with the zipper bust right open. So we had to literally sew her in the dress. And I did the same kit for her and we had this on hand, thank God. Now imagine if you didn't have a sewing kit and that happened, you would have had to run out to go try to find a sewing kit then had to sew the girl up so i'm when i tell y'all emergency kit on a wedding day is definitely a great gift i have a um a lint brush tissues you know people might be crying bobby pins um i have wipes First aid kit, never know what might happen. This one has band-aids, alcohol wipes, and galls. Vaseline. This one, she can't use on the wedding day, but I just figured it was cute. This was on Amazon. This is, um, this is like vouchers for your spouse. So you could give this to your, um, your spouse and they could use it for whenever they want to. So it have different cuddle session, 
dinner, you know, etc. 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 So this is really cute. I have mouthwash, lotion. These are so cute. Now, this is like little stickers that I don't know if you could see it, but it's blue and it says I do. And this is for him and for her. And you put it on the bottom of your, your shoe. And it's cute for pictures and stuff like that. And this is your something blue. Then chapstick. And then these are for, they could probably use this for the honeymoon or in the house. Um, Mr. and Mr. Um, it's like when you put the beer can or any type of can to keep the drink cold. And then I have some chips that they could snack on. And then I also, right, I started something to where I do custom chick bags and custom labels and things like that. So I created this. This is also another bag of chips. It has, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it says bridal shower. Then on the back, it has her and her future husband. And it says congrats and all that stuff. So um, I will also leave my email on the, um, on down below. And if you want to order your own custom chip bags, hit me up. And then I also did the same thing for the gum. So I don't know if you can see that. It says bridal shower and in the picture. So this is a custom label for gum. Now I also have um, scissors and ribbon. And then this is um, letters. I'm gonna use this to decorate the actual bucket. Now I have bought two different buckets because I wanted to go with like a blue or green. So I wasn't sure which one I'm gonna go with, but I think I'm gonna go with this one because it's a little big. And of course I overdid it with buying stuff like always. And then I also bought um, wipes, um, personal wipes that you could use. So I'll add that to the, um, the bag as well and some tissue paper. This is gonna help me fill the bucket with any open space. The packing tape. And then I also have a glue gun. Because with the letters, although it's sticking in the bag, sometimes I fall off, so the glue gun is gonna help me make the letters stay. And then at the end, once we finish with the, the basket, I have a cellophane roll. So first I'm going to start out by putting a t-shirt that says wifey at the bottom of the bucket. I actually um, bought this from Amazon and then I'm going to take some tissue paper and I'm going to stuff it at the bottom as well. This is so any products that I put inside the bucket is going to give it some height. So what I'm doing right here is I'm taking items that are taller than the rest like the slippers and I want the purse that says brides to be right in the middle. The thing is when you're making a basket you want all the items to be seen in some type of way or form. So that's why I'm rearranging these items in this way. Now you don't have to put these items in this way but once again it's custom so you could do it however you like, however you want the items to be shown. But I find that when you put the taller items in the back you can see everything and you put all the smaller items in the front. Now I didn't mention it in the beginning, but all the items I got from Target, Family Dollar, and Dollar Tree, they have a nice section of travel items in these stores. And the rest of the items I got from Amazon. Because I have Amazon Prime, I'm always ordering stuff online. I have an ongoing joke that I'm in a relationship with Amazon Prime because I'm always going on Amazon. And another tip, if you want Amazon Prime, if you are a student or if you have a student um, email address, you could sign up for Student Prime and you could get Prime for half the price. So that's just a little tip. Once I have the items in the correct place where I want it, I'm taking some tissue paper and I'm stuffing it into the little gaps that I have and I'm putting the smaller items on top of that. That way the smaller items have a little bit of height and everything is seen. So right here I'm just fixing the item, just making sure everything is in the correct place that I want it. I'm adding other little things to the basket and I'm just fixing it 
and making sure everything is in place. So now I'm taking the packing tape and I'm just going to put it in random places to make sure the items stick together. This way, when you put the plastic on the basket, the items won't move outside of its place. So now I'm just taking some more tissue paper and I'm just stuffing it inside the little gaps just to make sure that everything stays in place and it won't move with the tissue paper holding it together. This part is optional, but this is just to take it a step further and customize the bucket. So I have these stickers that I bought from Michaels. They are letter stickers and they're glittery silver. I have them in gold and all sorts of colors, but I chose to use silver and I just spelled out her name, Jennifer, something simple, just to customize the bucket. So now I'm just taking the cellophane roll and I'm just rolling it out to make sure that I have enough to cover the basket. Honestly, I recommend having the bags. They sell them on um, Amazon where you could just slip the bucket in and it makes it so much easier, but I had to just use what I had on hand. I had a whole roll, so I was gonna use it. So you just wanna make sure that the bucket is in the middle of the cellophane so that way you can have an even amount. And you're just gonna gather it and take your ribbon of choice and just make a bowl out of it. So once you finish tying the ribbon around the plastic, what you wanna do is you wanna cut the top and cut off any extra plastic that you have and make it even and much neater for the bucket. Isn't it so nice and beautiful and nicely wrapped? And I think every bride will appreciate this gift because technically this stuff, it kind of adds up when you think about it. So the bride doesn't have to worry about, okay, I need to have all these things to be prepared for her wedding. So she could ease her mind with this nice gift and it will be different from everybody else. So once again, thank you for tuning in to my Popular Girls channel. Make sure that you like this channel and make sure you subscribe. Thank you. We the one setting trends, we keep it so real and you just pretend.